channel. Today I am showing you guys how to turn coloring pages into SVG files and I'm super excited to tell you that this SVG file is free on my blog, that all of my videos that have SVG files or any file in them are free on my blog. If you guys like the stuff that I create and you want more of it because you just can't get enough, you guys can check out my patron page on page and become a patron uh, if you would like to. So make sure you check that out. And if you guys want some supplies for your Cricut, check out my links below because you guys know the drill. I make a little bit off of it. It makes me happy. It makes you guys happy because I can put more stuff out for you guys. Two-way street. Love you guys. Okay, let's get going. Guys, I'm going to show you how to turn adult coloring pages or coloring pages into SVGs so that you guys can cut them nice and crisp. Um, if they're, yeah, so basically, yeah, so you don't have to cut out all those little pieces in Cricut Design Space, and we've been doing these a few different times. We did them for the bell canvas, and we also did them for the shoes, both of the shoes that we did, the bell shoes and the Mickey shoes. So I'm going to show you how I created the SVGs so that you guys can do them on your own in Illustrator, or I also have them available on my blog. So in Google, we're going to look up adult coloring pages, uh, Disney, just to, so that we can um, find the ones that I did. So let's go to images. And this is the one that we used for the shoes. This is also the one we used for the shoes. This, you can tell, was a lot more detailed when I did this because um, turning it into an SVG sometimes can uncomplicate it a little bit. So let's view this image and we're gonna save this image and we'll save it as Mickey S SVG example. And I'm just gonna save him to the desktop and then I'm gonna find him on my desktop. And I probably already have him in my Disney images. So let's just see if I have him right here. Or we can just search Mickey SVG example. So I'm going to drag him into Illustrator and open him up in Illustrator. And then we will go from there. So now that we have him in Illustrator, he is a JPEG, which means he's all just one layer. And if we were to import him into Cricut Design Space, if he's a big enough image, he might be okay. But we would have to go in and we would have to click all these little whites and get rid of them so that it could cut. But when you zoom in, you'll notice that this isn't a very high resolution photo. So it probably wouldn't do a very good job and it would have to go, it, you, it would make that noise when it's cutting because it would go around all these little ridges. And even in here, you can see that there's like um, not all one color. So we're gonna zoom out and we're gonna do this in Illustrator so that it turns it into a vector which I've told you guys before, a vector is just a fancy word for a, a mathematical image that you can scale up to any size that you want, really. So right now I have open, if you click window and open image trace, you get this more in detail image trace than the little button up here or this little triangle that has all of the extras, but there's even more in here. So we want to trace him in black and white because he is black and white. And we only want him to have two colors because we want him to be black and white. And that's it. So we want to do that. You can also open advanced and play with some of this. We could ignore white, which would take away all the white. Um, or it would just not include it in the colors, which is not good because then it would pick up gray and black. So we don't want to do that. We want to simplify it down to black and white. So we're going to trace this now and see what happens. And nope, nothing. Let's let's not do that. Let's go undo. Let's go image trace and let's just do um, let's do silhouettes and see what happens. And that's pretty fun. And it actually makes it um, a little bit easier to cut out if you were to do this in vinyl. But let's try something else. Let's do just black and white logo and see what happens. So I like that and that's actually what I did for our image. So that made it um, actually a little bit more simple but it still left some of the fun in him. So what we're gonna do now is we right now 
have to tell it that we want to expand it, which now creates these little paths that the Cricut can pick up and know that you want it to cut. But right now, the way it's set up is there is white layers and there are black layers and it literally will cut out all of this, which is great. But if we wanted to do just the black and not the white, we'd have to go in and tell it not to do all this white. So we're gonna delete this white as well as some other things. We're going to object, ungroup this. And what that does is it creates these little pieces that you can go in and cut out. But we don't wanna go and literally delete every single piece. We're gonna click on the pieces we don't want. We're gonna go up to select, same, fill color. And that's gonna select all the white. And we're gonna just click delete, which you can't see because the background is white. If I had a, I'll do it just so you guys can see. I'm gonna undo that so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna add a rectangle and I'm gonna make this purple. And I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna make it gray because I'm on a gray scale right now, apparently. And I'm gonna arrange this and I'm gonna send it to back. And you'll see that it disappeared because there's white. So now we're gonna click all this white. So I'm gonna click this white and I'm gonna do that same. So select, same, fill color and we're gonna delete it. And now you can see that it did delete all the white. Now we're gonna delete this so you guys can see. I'm gonna go in and delete some of these things because we don't really want those apart unless you wanted those for your design. This one is connected though. So I'm gonna leave that one just to be safe and I'm gonna delete these guys, the ones that aren't connected. You could also go in and delete anything that you didn't want if you really wanted to, but I don't know why you wouldn't. This is a really fun design. So we're gonna go in and we're just gonna select something on the black and then we're gonna select same fill color and we are going to hold Command-8, which will now not just group it, but it will create one solid path, which means the Cricut will now put it all on one cut board. It will not cut every individual piece. Before, it would literally if it wasn't all attached, so those little lines would have cut separately. This is all pretty attached, but these little things right here are not attached to anything. They would come out and they would cut themselves out in a different spot. So now that we commanded eight them, they will all cut in one spot. And if we were doing two layers of colors, um, that would that would come in handy as well. So make sure to look for my other SVG video that might be coming out soon um, on how to create double layered SVG colored files. So I hope that that helped you. All you have to do now is just go file, save as, and you wanna save it as an SVG. And you name it whatever you want and save, and then you would just upload it like you would in the Cricut Design Space. If you need help with that, check out my how to upload your own video, your own images video. All right, love you guys, bye.